G'day. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about designing your own lace. It isn't as hard as it sounds. You start with graph paper like this. Now this graph paper is quite large, that's so that you can see clearly what I'm doing. So let's get on and do a little bit of designing. Starting with a decision, I've decided that the piece of lace I'm going to do has a spider, fan, foot side. It'll be a very basic one that we can do quite easily. So the spider I've decided will have four pinholes down one side. So let's do that. One, two, three, four pinholes this way, four pinholes this way, counting that one. One, two, three, four, four up, so one, two, three, four, and four across here. One, two, three, four. Now this is called a four by four pin block. I'm putting the pinhole in the center for my spider. That is the most basic way of just drawing a spider. You can, however, add some more elements. I like to draw in some of my threads, so I'm going to put this thread around, and that one, that thread around, and that one. Those lines are unnecessary, but they make my life a little bit easy, so I like to put them in. Now you decide which side is going to have your fan, your head side, and which side is going to have the foot side. Again, it's a decision that you make for yourself. I prefer to use it on the left hand side, but there is nothing stopping you doing this on the right hand side. So to add my foot side, I'm going to use this as one of the points on my foot side, and I'm going to put a pin, a pin mark between the squares. Now the reason I've done them between the squares, it will be quite obvious in a moment, but I'm just doing a line up here between the squares. And as you can see my lack of neatness, this is why I usually do this on the computer. I'm just doing this out here. And now I'm putting in the row of pinholes up this way. Putting an extra couple out there. Okay. Now I'm putting in a line running through this to represent the passive. Now to show what I'm doing, I'm just going to get a different colour to show you the working line for the foot side. As you can see, I made a mistake there. That one is not right. The line goes like this. And that's how you get your foot side. Now to continue on, we've got our main element, the spider. We put in a bit of ground and we've got our foot side. Now we're going to put in our fan over here. Now one of the things to be aware of with fans is that you should have a row of dots between the spider and the fan. So I'm going to put in a row of dots here. I want it to stop at the top of the, the peak of the spider and at the peak of this side of the spider. Now let's count those up. One, two, three, four, five. So my fan is going to be a five pin fan. Let's mark out this way. Two, three, four, five. There's the V part of my fan and I'm going to put the curve in. Now a little bit again of decision, how deep do I want the, the curve to be? I generally go up two lines. You can go higher, you can go less, it's entirely up to you, but I generally go up two. So I find the midpoint of the V, come up two lines above the last pinhole, put a line there and then just curve it down. That gives me my curve. So that I can find that central point, I go from this pin mark here, and put a line up past it. I put the central line past that line because it's only a temporary drawing mark so that I know where things are going. Putting a pinhole either side of that central line, we're now going to mark where the threads are going to go. So the threads will come from here to the center point and out again. It will also go from there to this point and up down to that point up down to that point before it goes out there. Now that tells me quite clearly that there is one, two, three, four pinholes on that side. I need to do it four matching this side. One, two, three, four. Now just as a quicker side here, we have got a four pin spider, also called a two leg spider. We have got a one, two, three, four, five 
pin fan and because it's a five pin fan there are eight pin marks out on that outside border now how do you work out how many pin holes you need to put out here you do as I did and you mark in your lines or you can do a quick calculation you know you have five pin holes down here so quick calculation five minus one equals four four times two equals eight so this calculation tells me that the five pin holes down this side here minus one will give me the four in the half of the curve four times two gives me eight in the whole curve and this applies to all sorts of fans and I'll go into more detail in another video now that is our let's put a line down there that is our repeat except for along this line here now this line here needs to be put in as well and that gives us our complete repeat now to explain that to you a little bit more clearly I'll just put a second repeat in here so you can see that I have actually repeated everything that's there above now to continue the concept put in these pinholes here put in these little half pinholes remembering that the bottom row is always staggered from the top row of the foot side a fan is there so we need five down this way for the fan one two three four five and up out two three four five we know we've got a row then one two three four two three four for our spider two three four and back up here two three four and our central pin now I'm just going to fill in a few little blanks here for the ground and complete our spider coming up that central line up two rows marking either side knowing that I need two more so I divide that into three and this side into three and there I have a complete repeat repeating the next one in red just so that it stands out nice and easy for you finishing this line down here and two three four five is for the fan one two three four five is for the fan bringing in now uh, to put in the spider one two three four two three four two three four two three and the center one we need the off center ones down here and then the centered and fill in the ground And putting in the curve of our spider putting in the there's my center line putting in my dots either side and there's my repeat now at a later point I'll show you exactly the same clicking but I'll do it on the computer to show you the ease of which it can be done Good day. I'm showing you on Lace 8 how quick it is to design your own lace. Starting with the basic one, we're going to load a motive. We're using a 4 pin motive and we're using the spider. Putting the motive here, there it is. Next to the spider, we've got a fan. Now that's a 5 pin fan. Let's put that in. There we go. And now we just need to put in our ground and the foot side. Putting in a line to show that the um, passives go through here. Putting in a trail so you can see where the threads in the foot side goes. nearly finished let's put in the last row of dots
copy the repeat and paste the repeat in. That's how quick it is to design your own lace.